Hi there. Welcome to Dumpster PC's final installment of the Motherboard MOSFET Cooling Guide. So here in this very short video I will show you the attached heatsink as it now sits on the Gigabyte 990FXA D3 motherboard. So you can see here that I've got the two screws now coming through the hole in the motherboard from the back up through the heatsink and attached with two small nuts. Now the actual heatsink transfer compound, or the heatsink transfer tape, that thick stuff I showed you in the earlier video, that was sticky enough that I probably didn't even need to use the screws. But the screws are right now acting as insurance, so if after a long time that transfer compound, or the transfer tape degrades, and loses its stickiness and for some reason that heatsink falls off in your case these screws will prevent it from landing on whatever components are nearby video card anything that might be in the way that could be damaged so that's what our heatsink looks like and it's making very good contact with the MOSFETs as you can tell by giving a bit of a push and if you look at the underside you can see our screws here and we've just got an insulator to ensure that the bare metal of the screws doesn't touch the underside of the board and any components nearby. So there you have it. Here is our 990FXA D3 fitted with a homemade motherboard MOSFET cooler. Hopefully this guide goes to show you that you can do it as well and that it's relatively easy. Thanks for watching, folks. See ya.